There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin... is a bunch of guys. He's a bunch of bullshit. Welcome to Sleepy Cast. Oh, Home of the Sleepy Cast. Can I take your order? I'm here with Ari Partridge. <laughs> Ari? Yeah. Hello, Ari. How are you? No, I'm great, thank you. Welcome. I'm here with Reese. What are you saying? He's <laughs> dropping the first letter of her name. Fucking boy. <laughs> I would have been horrific. Oh. I'm here with Ak Adel. <laughs> and I'm here with Isle. Isle. Ak. Isle. Yo, Isle, what's the topics for today? Zach, like you're going to say something. I saw it in your eye. I saw a video what? of this little brown man scurrying through the sand. Little brown man. This is like the third story of a little brown How man little, scurrying through the Why did a little brown sand? man always scurry through the sand? It was where, slithered where like a sneaky brown? snake. <laughs> Well, who should appear but Isis? Isis. That's when I gasped and closed the video before. Ac Ackman. I did watch an Isis video the other day and I got really grossed out. What are they doing? What are they doing? Are they like dragging little it black men with blood in the sink? Was, no, it was one of those H really super hyper HD like slow motion ones. Oh, I saw that with the back, <laughs> back tendons. I was like, oh, and they, they used the machete and cut their heads off. No, there's a different one. Why are you watching that? I can't wait for like Oculus Rift Isis videos. Did the, oh, did the man. weird tomato Kool Aid blood spray everywhere? Like I can't wait to use the fuck me shit in the Oculus Rift Isis videos and just you know, <laughs> fuck the open air. Oh no! You, you have, have those white little, little iRobot titties in your yeah, you, have, you have a pretty little anime girl where you're like whisping her dress in front of like fucking beheadings. <laughs> <laughs> and then you bring her over there and sit her next to the dead body. And over there. The Hatsune Miku girl That's in front the of the video. Hatsune Miku. Yeah, yeah. You, Hatsune Miku. you are on fucking point yeah. with that. What the hell is Hatsune Miku? She's a anime singer, but like she's made on this program called Vocaloid where they like make her voice. They, yeah, she's, she's all like robotic. She's like but she does concerts. So she's not real. You remember how you remember how she sells at her concerts? You remember how Tupac? Of course. You yeah. know the Tupac hologram yeah, video by Zach? Yeah, like around. It's like when oh Tupac God, was dancing video. around in like a dress and he was like... Yeah, they used that technology to put a big bug-eyed anime girl on stage where <laughs> little Japanese guys fucking froth at the it's mouth. It's genius though, because yeah. they can do like 300 concerts at once yeah. for In that. Japan, I don't get how like so yeah, many female twice. pop stars... Have, have you seen how crazy fans in Japan? Yeah, but have you seen how detailed like the underskirts are whenever that shit flails in the air? Oh my God. Like, they have they have a detailed pussy is what you're saying to me? Huh? They have detailed pussy physics? HD detailed pussy physics. Physics. Like female pop stars in Japan, <laughs> get, that, some of them aren't allowed to have boyfriends or like make it public because their fans will just like Stop watching. shrivel up and just, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Wouldn't that be the worst though if she actually came out and was like, I have a fake boyfriend? <laughs> So what you're saying is because she's not real, like they, they'll never retire her or get rid of her. Right. No, she they can't, can't. Wouldn't it be funny if they, older. they had her die in like a horrible accident? Yeah. It's just upset the fans anymore. Like, yeah, I'm really sorry. <laughs> she's ampu an amputee on stage. Like, <laughs> she got fat. She became an amputee. Uh, <laughs> she found Christ. Sorry, guys. There was a really weird. mean new CEO. It was like. Fuck everybody. Oh, a tiny little she Japanese like fan. She dies like she just hits a fucking wall. <laughs> There's like HD video oh. of her fucking fake brains everywhere. What, she's like, she's like fucking face into like a car that explodes and yeah. crashes. Yeah. And yeah. You yeah. place her JPEG face with a different JPEG face and make yeah. her ugly. Chris, what would you do what? if you were watching the new Nasaka Nuki video? Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku. Mm. And she turned around and it was Harry's face on the <laughs> body. Would you keep watching or would yeah. you pause? I don't subscribe. Yeah, like you stop, right? I don't subscribe. I hope you let me know. <laughs> <laughs> you give him a chance, right? Yeah. You I'd be like, wait, that's Harry. Yeah. I know him. And I'd call you and be like, did you approve this? Yeah, of course I did. Yeah, like, that's really that? weird. Don't write me off, Zach. <laughs> Chris. Then I get yeah. really wait, jealous. Wait, he's talking about like, like his human head or his cartoon no, head. No, just only his face, but everything else. Just <laughs> through this these weird fucking video scan. of Hatsune Miku like, swallowing you. She's like breathing really heavily. While I'm not surprised. Are you talking about that one fucking... Where you're like little and she picks you up. What? This fucking weird guy made a video of like a 3D fox character like lovely That's the girl from Star Fox. It's the good Hatsune Google. Miku is not Star Fox. You, but you were talking about that though. No, I was talking about something different. Wait, because they, they're wait just... hold on. Who made the video of the Star Fox girl swallowing him and he goes inside of her stomach? Some, some gross on nerd. On a 3D journey. Who? Corey described the video to Harry. Some, oh. Corey's descriptions are like crazy dreams. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, <laughs> he has like weird fever dreams. There's a video in which a creepy guy yeah. made uh, like yeah, a Star like, Fox character that. swallow him like and balding, he, goes, he goes inside of her and the video is like him going... <gasps> yeah, it's like down her side. It's worse than that. It's worse. There's so many fucking images online of like fat, greasy guys and their mum 
basement. Yeah. But like they photoshopped in Lugia or like some Pokemon <laughs> their fucking girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> no, but this guy, right? He like animated it himself, so he, oh. he put a lot of effort into it. So he walks out into his back garden, and that that fox girl is like for some reason ten feet tall. And she's like, <laughs> of on, course, yeah. She's on her front paws, and she opens her mouth, and there's all those spit trails. And he's kind of like, no way. Yeah, he's like, like flailing what, what, his hands. He's like, what are you doing? <laughs> what? And then she picks him up, puts her in, and then, he, then he like animated 3D human hands in it, front of the camera. Chris, it had like really yeah, yeah. good tracking. It was like, yeah. creepy. It, it was, was like, bad, almost yeah. like the tracking was Didn't he there. remake that a couple years later? Yeah, he did. He yeah, he like remade it. it. Yeah, yeah, he, he wasn't happy with the original tracking. Yeah, so he George he Lucas did. Yeah. <laughs> like, What's the George Lucas of uh, <laughs> fucking walkers in the back? Furry, furry, furry. It's boar. Furry mouth boar. Furry boar, yeah. We were talking about um like commissions, and there's like um specifically commissions in general, like when people like ask you to draw yourselves fucking something. Because I could never draw myself being ever a part of anything. Like someone's like, can you draw yourself? People want you to draw. Like they want Corey fucking. They want. Like, yeah. Can you draw yourself fucking like Rinamon? And I'm like, no. I will draw an anonymous fellow fucking Rinamon or you. A fellow, a nice fellow. I will draw a fellow fucking <laughs> Rinamon, but I will not draw me. So when someone commissions you to draw them, do they send you their like dick? Like the sometimes oh, I've really? gotten like real pictures of people like sending me nudes, and I'm just like, I kind of like, cherry pick the ones that have potential. Yeah, cherry yeah. pick the best dicks. <laughs> the best dicks. The best dicks. Yeah, I've had somebody ask me to draw myself fucking a cartoon character. I yeah, and I'm just like, I don't feel comfortable. No, like it's like you know, if you want to go online and like superimpose like Katsuna Miku. Next to you, or like blue funny next yeah. to you. That's I love fine. those. I love those pictures of the yeah the, the fucking flappy titty freakazoid too. Like they'll draw their characters in flappy the titty freakazoids. But even then, they'll still like hover handing them. You know what I mean? That's like, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, like I it's like those. an MS Paint picture of like Lupini like looking down and like she's in a fighting pose and he like yeah. has his hand like superimposed around her. Yeah, like, he's, he's or still. Like, she, yeah. Or they like erase her hand and like he's really like lopsided MS Paint hand around her like she would see a demon art where they can't quite draw the hand around the shoulder thing. <laughs> those are classic. Yeah, this would be rude, Corey. He's a gentleman. He's a can I, can I tell you an interesting commission I got recently? Corey, tell me. I got a commission of human rarity. Like the My Little Pony character, right? Yeah, of right. a human rarity farting in a room, a long, drawn-out fart. <laughs> um, and I was like, okay, this is a sketch commission. Sure, I'll do it. And I did it, and the guy, like, fucking, he, like, fart-shamed me because I didn't do exactly what he, he did, asked you? for. What he asked, he, did, he, he asked, he was de detailed about, like, what she was doing, where she was, you know, she was spreading her ass for a long fart. And at the end, like, she, you know, the second panel was she was waving it off because, she, you know, she didn't want to be caught farting <laughs> and naked in a room like what pissed me off is because he fucking ins he was like insulting my intelligence about how, how accurate I made fart sound effects because what I did was I did I went F T S S S and I'm like I don't know how to make a silent fart. I, I would long. do I would do like P F T T T T T S T T. Mine would something. be like B P B P B P. Mine was B, just because that's what it <laughs> might like, that's what it might sound like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was yeah. like a frictionless fart, right? She's like spreading her ass. Exactly. No he, oh, he went a wet fart. You yeah. gave you gave no, me a silent. No, no. Yeah. But then he like messaged me back and he's like, "This isn't what I wanted. I was hoping that it was more of a casual fart and that the sound effects were a little better. I expected more from the sound effects." I wasn't impressed, and I'm he, like, you. So he, you want he wanted a swamp ass fart. No, no, he wanted. He wanted. You a, denied him a fart. He wanted brap. He wanted brap. <laughs> he, he, he wanted. He wanted a <laughs> bad no, what he wanted. Score, he wanted a bold brap and a half. All right. He, <laughs> he deprived wanted, him. He wanted a naked, casual, rarity farting alone. But like, with where, where, emphasis where, on the fart. What's a casual fart? Where was she in the room? She was naked against the wall farting, and I'm you know, against did, the wall. I did a sexy, naughty spread butt fart, and he's like, "It's not good enough." <laughs> like I wanted casual fart. Why didn't he just send you like and be like, "I want her to." Say this exact sequence of letters: B T T P T G A J B. I guess uh, I guess he thought my in, you know like <laughs> he thought you could handle it, but you obviously like, couldn't do it. Well, yeah. Do you, do you right. think if you would have gone the other way, give him a, a too big of a fart, he would be disgusted? Like if you give like a <laughs> like a glop or something? Oh. A glop? Dude, he said he said you don't go for glops. If yeah. I would have given him a honk, he'd have been like, "Are you insulting me?" <laughs> this like little fart Corey, coming out. Should have just written F A or T T T T. <laughs> yeah, fart. Yeah, fart. Just like fart. Just like fart. He would have been like, "That is one of those farts that." Escapes, but then you try to silent. I wanted to try to suck fart. it back in. To is do the word over fart again. onomatopoeia? No. no, no. It sounds like it should be right. Fart. What if he'd have done like cartoon plants wilting and like Victorian ladies <laughs> swooning in the background? He didn't want that. Big he specifically, green, that, you smell have he specifically wanted naked rarity farting yeah, casually. But in a he doesn't know how rarity farts are. They could fucking. It's speak. not real. You're making it up, <laughs> Corey. How do you, you should have found the guy's real address, <laughs> taken a picture of his face and his mother, and put his mother's face <laughs> next to the ass. You should have fucking. I should have 
dox him and did my research beforehand. <laughs> dox him with a fucking first mom's open black belt would be like, if you ever want to see this fucking. If you want to see your mom again, you're gonna accept this fart. <laughs> Horse farts have to like be these terrible OT sugar lumpy carrot farts. Like they're it was sh- human rarity. Their shits basically block off roads. Like, she's a fart. Yeah, she's a horse. Fucking terrible. She, she's a she's a well, she's a human, it's but human. still, she doesn't eat hay and fucking oats. She, she, she Why eats, not? She eats cheeseburgers and other fatty foods. No, it would smell terrible then. Yeah. That's pretty gross. Yeah. You should have been like a that's what she, Corey. What, she, what, what other thing do petite girls eat? Cheeseburgers, steaks. Great. Was yogurt. it a green fart or a brown fart? That's the important. There was no part. no no color. Yeah. And I was like, listen, that's I'm, scandalous. Corey. I'm like, listen, I'm glad you didn't do one of those like classic green farts because I'm not ready. It for was that. a Photoshop yeah. checkerboard fart. No, it was just a simple text. You know, I also did the weird. I did the lines. There was official sky checkerboard speech. I did I did a wispy line. He's like, no, I wanted I wanted lines, and I'm like, you know what? You can keep your fucking fart. I'm never doing these commissions again. Fuck you. Harry, what's the weirdest one you've commissioned you've requested? I got, n- I got absolutely nothing there. Like, seriously, that is yeah, a yours dead were like, fucking end. Yours so like someone, friendly... someone tell you to fuck something else was the weirdest you got? Yeah, that's about it. Have I you also... ever done a porn commission? No, not really. Like, I've actually made them more porny than they tend to ask for. Uh, but you draw like... I do it, I just can't draw good porn. You get a lot of your own characters being asked for. Yeah, that's kind of, that must be flattering. Those are the ones I put the effort into, because it's like, yeah. I don't have to do that. I hate having to look at references. Yeah. I hate having to like, oh, yeah. I have to draw Bayonetta. I had no idea what she looked like. <laughs> She's, her, Costume is her hair. Mm-hmm. She like weaves her hair under her tits. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I, I just looked at her and took her for granted. I just thought she was wearing like a cat suit. And then you go on Google. I'm like, what are these Japanese guys dreaming up over there? <laughs> just to clarify, like I'm not shaming anybody for what you're into, but I'm shaming you if you fucking if you shame an artist and you weren't the one who was doing vivid details to begin with. Corey, and you're a it, fucking prude with details. Wasn't there a situation about a Lion King guy who really wanted you to do? A, oh, can yeah. I can I call this bozo out? He, he wanted me to draw a Lion King character, and I just don't want to draw. Like Simba or something. No, no, no. But also, he wanted, was, was this the was this the same guy as who? No, it wasn't. He was he was he was a guy who wanted me to draw like his Simba OC getting fucked by a horse. No, no, like, but, yeah, no yeah. I was gonna say yeah, but, but, but my point is, why would there ever be a horse in the Sahara? He, he said he's Africa. There'd never be a regular. Make it a zebra. Horse there. Is, is yeah, making it. That's what Corey said. I'm making a zebra. No, no. He it's wanted gotta a, horse, be a horse, and he, then he sent me every time I'm like, I don't want to do it. He sent me a novel, and I'm like, I don't want to do it. He would send me another novel. I'm like, you're not gonna convince me with all the novels. Could could I convince you if I said her hooves were fucking hot? It was a the guy horse. Noise. It was guy a guy horse. horse with a big dick, not a girl horse. Was it Kid Simba? Nice or was it Matthew Broderick full grown Simba? <laughs> it was Kid Simba. Oh, oh Jesus. Jesus. It was Little Cup Simba. Oh. Can't wait to be King Simba. I should say. <laughs> you still hop around. Just can't wait to be poor. Yeah, again, like, I don't care. If you have an OC, if you have, if you have a Simba room. OC, you know, more power to you. <laughs> But if you want me to draw your OC and then I say no and you continuously send me the story you had planned, I'm not going to fucking draw your OC still. Harry, You're not going to convince me with your novel. If Disney came to you and said, we brought the Lion King to life, we want and you we could give you we this want technology, you to draw you fucking we Simba. have to fuck Kid Simba right now, <laughs> but he's real. And if you do this, we'll give you $1 every day. Kid Simba. For the rest of your life. <laughs> Kid Simba comes in. Keep plus, your money, Disney. <laughs> plus, plus one I'll butterscotch. Do it. Hey, one butterscotch candy that's stale. For your troubles. Stale? No, stale. Not, not no, no, no. Give, no, no. give them some worth of original shit. It's not worth it at all. Why? Yeah. A what dollar? Three, what about three butterscotch candies? <laughs> <laughs> what about three? Butterfinger? You get the fuck Kid Simba. That's already the bonus there. I asked Corey over lunch which character from Pee Wee's Playhouse you'd like to have sex with best. Yeah. It can't be Miss Avon. It also you mean can't the, be the like black lady? Cowboy Curtis because that would be a hot porno. Dude, what about that big muscular dude in the... No, it Pee-wee? can't be Cowboy Curtis, Nile. That's him. <laughs> what are you, stupid, Nile? Yeah, you knew Cowboy Curtis off fucking limits. Of course <laughs> you were. Know. Okay, Pee Wee then. <laughs> this is basic no, ass. You can't, can't, have, you can't you fuck Pee Wee either. You, you are Pee Wee. Pee Wee's fuck Pee Wee. You're Pee Wee. You're in his brain. <laughs> you get the hoodie you fuck no. You act like Pee Wee. You can't Cowboy Curtis is off limits. No touching. You no looking. Pee Wee. <laughs> you entered into his brain and you have you realize that your like dick is fucking throbbing erection like precursor already <laughs> leaking out of your pants. You your dick is bright red. It's purple almost. Yeah, it's purple at the tip. Pee Wee has a little so baby weird. mouth and, yeah, cor- yeah, and a corpse. Fuck it then. Chris has a corpse <laughs> mouth. I said, I said I would He's got that like Pixar demo baby mouth. <laughs> Pixar demo? Yeah, where what? it's a little baby. Maybe from Inside Out until you saw the trailer. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I said the best candidate that I would say was Cherry. She's, no. she's got a nice figure. She's got a you nice a chair? big fucking mouth. I yeah. was going to say Cherry. Chair? And you could sit on oh, her cherry's good, yeah. So you could fill her with cum and sit on her and there'd be no mess. I like the Countess. There would be a mess. It was cum inside her chair. Yeah. She'll spit it out. That'd be the worst whoopee cushion ever. You'd sit down and cum would explode out of her. Gotcha! <laughs> That'd be nasty, dude. I'd puke. Yes. Harry, we're from the other side of the ocean, so I think Mr. Bean is like our yeah. Pee Would you fuck Mr. Bean? The question is, would you fuck Mr. Bean? Would you fuck Bean? Mr. Bean? Yes. yes. Please, this,
Ted, you ever notice Mr. Bean is just doing a Yoda impression? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, oh man, you changed it. You like Touch changed it. it for me forever now. <laughs> My friend had a theory that Mr. Bean's an alien. He, he is. Said, like, he he's is. not a fucking alien. He's, he's not an angel. Is that why no, he fell he from is, the sky? Is. That's his theory. He's like, oh, he came down from space. That means he's it's no. It's an he's, intro. No, he's just his autistic. <laughs> <laughs> he's got severe <laughs> Asperger's. Yeah. <laughs> he's just his autistic guy. What do you fucking look at? He falls out of the sky after a light drops him down. He climbed the lamppost and then he fell off the lamppost. There's cases. There's cases. I always thought it was. There's cases of cats and dogs raining. It was the same thing. He with is him. not Mr. Mom. Bean. Rain one day into the world, and Mr. Bean was brought to the, to everybody. This <laughs> autistic man was brought to the world. It was the second. It was <laughs> in saying, the Bible. Dude, yeah. he's yeah. autistic. That's I, actually blowing my mind. Of course, he's autistic. Yeah, he but comes, I I was like, oh, like all of his symptoms are like that of severe autism. I, I, severe that, autism. I, he can't talk, so he's also yeah, exactly. Deaf. No, Listen, no. The whole show is it, it's a hallucination. He's just sitting there with this little fucking thing around his chest, you know, where you push him. It's like, hello, hello. Yeah. You ever have those kids in your school with those little pouches no. on their thing? What? That's what? Mr. Bean! Yes. Yeah, Mr. they have the, the little AIDS next to it. It's like, pizza, pizza, hello, because they can't talk. That's oh. Mr. Bean! Do they have a designated he has one of those. pizza slot? Does he actually have one of those? Like, Mr. Is that, Bean does. Is that canon? Like, yes, he busted out. That's not true. Oh, shit. That's does. not true. I've watched every single Mr. Bean. I saw the one where he goes to the swimming true. pool and jumps off the diving board. You see the one where he hits his forehead, bites his wrist, and screams? <laughs> 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 yeah, he's, he's really obsessed with patents and like lining up toy yeah, cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he like can't be left alone with a woman. He goes into a bathroom. He goes into a fucking McDonald's bathroom. He grumps bathroom. the woman. He gets arrested. Starts making little teddy he's... medallions yeah. and posting his nudes yeah. online. Zach, he's he pushes his ass Corey for it. He drinks Fanta Com. Zach, he goes into oh, a fucking God. McDonald's bathroom and throws coffee and piss in the corner. Throws coffee, shits on the floor, and stops around like, like Godzilla. Like he records himself cursing and screaming. He measures his arms with random girls in Applebee's. That'd be the worst finale himself. ever. Yeah, what if you just have like a moment of breakdown and fuck with the psychosis in the last episode? Mr. Bean's just biting his- My arms are so Ooh. goddamn short. <laughs> Mr. Bean is not an autism. So where does Miss Piggy come in with the voice thing? We wish we got them together. Miss Piggy? Yeah. Kermit! Yeah. No, it's, she, has, she has a yeah, Yoda like, voice mm. too. Yeah, isn't Yoda yeah. the same voice actor? It's Spike yeah. always, yeah. So. It's a weird, yeah. like, gravelly, like... Kermit! Yeah. <laughs> Time to fuck. Time to enter. That's Kermit sounding... I can't, Kermit the Frog is one of those voices everyone could do, like Mickey Mouse, but I can't do. I can't really do. It's one of those voices everyone can do really badly. Wow. It's good to see you. He's like, yeah. oh, oh, it's Kermit the Frog. Wow. You have to sound kind of sad. I can't really I like fucking my I'm wife. I'm a little fucking yeah, frog. Like, Harry, can you do any celebrity impressions? No. Do no. me. Hello. I'm Chris. I'm fucking moving out. Moving out. Hello. I'm, I'm Harry. Out. I'm Harry in the big US Harry. Hey. <laughs> Chris, can I point Hello, to the app for the whole audience? What? I think you've been wearing the same minion sock, the same <laughs> single one minion sock for the last one week, and I'm not... Is that an accurate observation? <laughs> you stop bullying people for their socks? Is I that... just saw that. I was like, well, that's the same button, the same minion sock. I'm wearing this fucking face. I put on one Whatever sock I see in the morning. Me too. Sometimes. You see Look, minion? it's been a hectic week. I've been moving out. It's, it's been, been a hectic week. I it's, have to wear the minion. It has. Sock. I've been washing my shit. If the minions were preparing. treated as like the new slaves and they were up on, they were all like shackled up and they were like being voted on, would you they vote fucked. for a minion? What? If minions were the new slave crave and they so were up on stage with shackles around their neck, would you vote slave for a minion? Crave? Slave crave. What is How would you mean? vote for them? What? Vote you for put them? up, you put up a sign that's like, uh, and you have like a number like fifteen. Like, oh, I said on fifteen. Oh, I got one. Go What's happening? Are you describing what happens when you die? Yeah, when what you, are you saying, Corey? When you die, you go to the great big minion auction in the sky, Zach. <laughs> Oh, oh! you said vote for it, not buy. You, you mean like like they're black slaves? Yes, they're the new slave yellow, crave, dude. Would they sing little slave songs? Yeah, What's they'd that? be like banana, 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 banana. You fucking bitch. <laughs> get out of here! Get back to the field, boy. <laughs> they're picking bananas. Would you buy a minion? That's, I remember when minions first came out. Every thumbnail for the trailer was the part where he's wearing the thong. Yeah, he's, as, he's like, that, that was, asshole. That's coming. That was, that was he's hyper realistic. That was the clickbait. They wanted kids to click on the thong minion. So like little kids really were into that. Yeah. They have yeah. realistic asses, like hyper realistic yeah. Susie ass physics. The like hyper realistic sphincter. Isn't yeah. there a real theory that, if that the lore is like they always serve the most evil person? Yeah. yeah. The white man. No, seriously. Well, there like, we, yeah, so, exactly. Every, yeah, that is, yeah. Every so minion would be like, given to the funny, white man. It's been pointed out that if, if Hitler's canon in that universe, then they served Hitler technically. Yeah, right? technically. Well, they, they prob the, I bet they sailed to him and he already blew up. Did you see no, him? No, because they were on Earth the whole time. He was not in the lore of the movie. Did you see the minion movie? Does he not exist? Is he removed from the history? Dude, in Despicable Me, the dude is more Did you see the Minion movie. No, there's I saw it. 
great right? scene where they like go into a room. It's like a it's like a silhouette of Hitler in the background. It's like is? he's like dead. And then they're like they come in with like marching, and then they're like oh, like, oh too around. late. Ah. <laughs> What's the difference between Minions and those little green Toy Story? I was gonna things? say they're the same thing. They're the same yeah. fucking thing. Do people did, is that an observation people already made or no? I think their voices. Ugh. Were the same, Weren't their minions same. designed off these kid like they were designed off little kids who were put on these gas masks and forced to go into like these really toxic caves? Oh my god, where they like died. <laughs> Wait, Basically what? Child warriors, so they're <laughs> like that. The minions were based off these like they're yellow because these... they're fucking of liver failure. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're yeah. no, I'm serious. <laughs> Wasn't the minions design based off like these Asian kids who put on these like weird outfits which should go into toxic caves to like harvest stuff and like yeah, be maybe. exposed to like real chemicals? I mean, like the but they were small kids because yellows... they had they could fit into like these little areas where the chemicals were. I swear to God! I swear to Who fucking God! Where did you God. hear that? Is, that? is that part of the Minions movie? Is that the I, I was, I was. Is that, is that the last title crawl? Like showing pictures of no. dead Chinese kids? Like no. fake, fake bloopers from a Pixar movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was seven yeah. creepy fra- facts about Minions on YouTube. Is it Watch Mojo? Are there seven? No. Are there seven creepy facts in total? Seven creepy facts about Watch Mojo. You know that school shooter, Elliot Roger? Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, oh, yeah. He, the ma- he was a he was a mass shooter. Yeah, the mass shooter. I just want people to get on your ass. Well, he like. Is he a Minions fan? <laughs> I saw this. Like, I, I find him like funny to laugh at. Like, why you laugh? at people who are sociopaths who kill people in yeah. shootings? Yeah, and uh, I found this like top Fucking five... Sensitive asshole. I saw this video called Top 5 Elliot Roger Moments. And I, was like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? Oh. And I had a Watch Mojo like title it was like, it was like, Doo, like the Holy whole thing. It, was, it wasn't it wasn't Ooh. real, but it looked real. Oh. <laughs> and it was just him drinking Starbucks. It was like, Starbucks moment. And he was just drinking Starbucks Dude, in his car. God. Watch Mojo, they're fucking like, they do like the top I'm 10 the top 10 weirdest owls in movies. And it's like, who cares? <laughs> they do 40 weirdest videos owls? a day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. owls in movies. They're out of things. They're top ten beds. Like, you're gonna find out, like, a few years, it'll be, like, top five Cory moments, and it'll be you, like, scratching your ass, like, at home, and you don't even know they're fucking... They're TMZing me now? And <laughs> top five shades of green. There's that channel that's, like, movie oh, clips, shit. and, yeah. like, after you've watched the clip, you'll be like, watch all the Nicolas Cage clips. Watch There's, all yeah, the yeah. clips featuring oh, tables. Oh, is that, is it called, like, clips or trailers? Yeah, yeah, movie, yeah. Like, trailers. yeah. Clips. movie clips. Like, oh, movie clips. watch all the famous boat scenes on a boat. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's not how I organize my brain. But that's how people... That's what like people scenes. look for, they're like, what? Oh, top five? Wow! And the only, like, the only one people must are, be the top five boat moments. Yeah, I've never the only known one about. people are clicking like specifically are top ten girl makeout scenes. They're like, yeah. whoa, dude! Top five soapy. Top tits. ten nipple slips. Top ten big dicks in movies. And Corey, you're like, whoa! Big Who dick. is the hottest anime girl, Corey? The hottest anime girl, Tommy Pickles. <laughs> Tommy Pickles. <laughs> I've never seen his dick. You're right. Uh, Tommy Pickles. This little slut walking around like that with his feet t- facing inwards. He's asking for his shirt tied up in a knot. <laughs> Really trying not the mad spread. <laughs> no, that's not Zach. That's not the hottest anime girl. Well, it's hard. I don't really think. I don't know. Tommy's head is like as wide as Dee Dee's body. What would body. be the hottest like, know, anime hard. girl? How did he get out of there? Well, baby skulls are soft, so she probably came out like like Jello. Whenever I see Rugrats moments where Chucky's being born, he always has his know. red hair. And is I wonder, like, I wonder how did that hurt the lady? What do you like? It's gelled up. Like it spikes. Like it's a solid thing. If he had a full head of hair coming out, that must have kind of hurt a bit. Did it get tangled? He had a full head of hair, really? Is, is that canon? Why would that hurt? I've seen it. It's, are you, are you oh, like it gets tangled in her boobs. Is that official Rugrats lore? Yeah. How do we get to Rugrats when we're talking about hot anime girls? Animated characters. Tommy Pickles. Iago. Top 10 Tommy Sonic Pickles. female characters. Did the slot's girlfriend. Minions. She's pretty fucking hot. I, I, I would say I would say the hottest one, anime-wise, would could it be from a game? Giant foot from Ants. <laughs> <laughs> that was not hot, dude. <laughs> dun, 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 what about the weird termites that make green goo? Those are pretty fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I used to get I used to get majorly turned on from the princess from Bugs Life. I used to love that movie. Oh, the little girl, Dot. Is that her name? No, fuck Dot. <laughs> the, 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 the other one, pretty fucking hot. The princess, the little girl, not the tight princess. I always uh, wanted to cream pie the cream pie Toy Story when I was a kid. Yeah, I wanted to cream pie the purple ant too. <laughs> I had I had dreams. I had autistic dreams of sitting on a bench um, with the with the purple ant. I had I had a dream where I was like fondling her minge on a fucking bench on a park bench with a giant <laughs> purple ant queen, the, pop, Harry, the princess. Talk princess. About animation. Yeah, sure. What are you talking about? Can you animate? Queens? I was well. I, you know, I found it interesting. We were talking. Harry, can you animate you making out with the purple ant from? Like, I'll <laughs> take your thoughts. I'll take Andy's mom from. Hold on, Corey. Story. Before you do anything, Corey, Dude, play yes. the theme song from Ants on that trombone. <laughs> I always 
always thought Ants was better than Bugs Life. Bugs Life fucking sucked. Ants is Rise. better. I think Ronnie the Skeleton is the best character in Ants. <laughs> Ronnie the Skeleton sucked in Bugs Life. I mean Ants. You Shark. like Shark Tale? Shark Tale fucking stinks. I thought you were like a DreamWorks all the way guy. No, God no. I also didn't like uh, Finding Nemo. You didn't like oh, that? That's different. Because I didn't like Dory. I hated Dory. Yeah. So worst, you're... worst character. And then they decided to make a movie about her. And she's like the most unfunny fucking fish. Did ever. I tell you? I took an Uber ride a few months ago. It was like a really. It was like a three. Visual. Visually, wait. Visually, Finding yeah. Nemo was beautiful. Oh, yeah, but right. overall, I didn't really care for the story. I've always seen like a fish out of water crap, and I was tired of it at that point. Yeah. That's a fish in water, Corey. <laughs> I was in an Uber, if you can believe that, a few months ago, and it was like 3 a.m., so it was really late, and the guy, it was, the driver was like a really scary black guy, like a really terrifying black gentleman, which is fine! What do you mean, though? Why would he be scary? Like, he could be a scary white guy. Yeah, he could be a scary cracker or a scary Chinaman. Does he consistently look like that? He what made him scary? Did he have bug eyes? Did he have fucking Yeah, he had big bug eyes, he had little sharp teeth, he was like staring around, <laughs> scratching his neck. Are you telling me he had different but he colored had, eyes? He was, very, he was very muscular, very, he could have easily killed me if he felt like it. Okay. And he was listening to terrifying rap about fucking uh, killing white people. And I said, well, seems like a well-measured gentleman. <laughs> and I, on, the, on the drive there, he's like, yo, swear to God, he said, you gonna check out Finding Dory? <laughs> I was like, holy fuck! And he was like, dude, I can't wait to, to get fucking high as hell and go watch Finding Dory in theaters. And I was like, well, I'm sure I'm sure you can't. <laughs> I was so taken aback. You should have just told him. You should have said, you know, no, I find Finding Dory to be quite shitty. I think it's trash. I think you're a little bitch. You call those muscles? I think fucking Dory stinks. <laughs> I think she's the worst character. It's like she is the worst character. feel like Easily. Disney sequels, you know? Yeah. Like The Hunchback in Notre Dame 2. That's what it feels it's like. It's like Cars, so like Potato or whatever his name is, having like a fuck, his own fucking spinoff series. Potato? Like, Tater Adventures. Tater, it's what's the name the, the dump da truck dater bater mater mater it, that's mater? it yeah it's like let's get let's get the sequel to cars mater mater adventures i no had, so, I had I never seen cars but i i actually learned recently i thought Leonard the cable guy was the main character in all this all the movies but he wasn't no. oh yeah let's so talk, I have a question I let's talk that. about the worst animated movie you've seen not worse as in the way it was done but just you don't like it and you're tired of seeing it whenever you see it it was just boring stupid frozen and frozen absolutely yeah. that is easily one of the worst but i'm talking like not Frozen in a sense where it's like bad. I'm talking like prior Frozen. Mm. Not because Frozen was really Dude, well done. Dude, there's a ton of anime. You mean I, I, mean, I would look? I wouldn't call Frozen the worst anime I've ever but I call I call shitty. It it's awful. I hate Frozen, but I'm talking about like before Frozen. Like, there's shit you know, like Jelly Tarzan before. and stuff, but that's yeah. That's what I'm saying. There's like different categories. Do you mean the, the like, most shitty like mainstream movie? Yeah, like mainstream before Frozen. There seems to be a whole bunch of movies these days that people go nuts for. Like I didn't see Inside Out. Uh, oh really? I, okay, like, you know what? That's my. I hated that. Like, yeah, it I looked so boring. It was okay. It was like a six. Yeah, I'm sure it's great. That's the thing. Like, I, I thought it was, it was a four. It was all right. That's part of the reason it bothers me because I'm sure it's really well made, and it makes me feel like an idiot because I'm sure that my uh, like opinion of it is completely unjustified. But it just looks so. It's okay, boring. I, yeah, I'm gonna say this is a bad thing to say. Looks fucking gay. Because <laughs> no, it, it just looks like like when I was a kid, I was like really hyped up for that movie <laughs> Small Soldiers. You ever see Small yeah. Soldiers? Yeah, I love Small Soldiers. I fucking because like, it's like. Did you see it though? Yes, like I loved twelve it. times. With like little badass soldier guys like stabbing people and like you know, which, I, where are the movies for that? That was like, I think, great. I think like four or five years ago, right after I think it, the, whatever whatever happened within Disney, right a little bit after Princess and the Frog, around right that time. All their movies got this weird kind of like you know the feeling you, when you were a kid and you watch a movie and one of the characters like would sing in the movie and you got really like, get that wash of shame if you knew your parents were watching. Yeah. All Disney movies have that now. I feel like I, I can never watch Inside Out or Frozen with other people. I just feel like uncomfortable. Yeah. And I saw Frozen with Corey in theaters. And it felt a shame. Was, I could watch like Hercules or like The Lion King or yeah. before that, and it'll totally be you know yeah. just good movies. I know it's a douchey thing to say, but like yeah. they have a bit of edge to them. Like even ants, people get like cut in half ants in ants. Fucking yeah, like, ants are you know? so much better than Bugs Life. Bugs I know. Life is just like it's like yeah. again, like he's like a fish out of water. I'm so tired of the yeah. concept of I don't fit in in this group. I'm gonna go find my own fucking. Or you like kid shows like SpongeBob? That's like a good show. Period. Like yeah. you can watch that with adults. You're not embarrassed to watch it. No, but like no. My Little Pony. Really you to watch that and not feel embarrassed by it? Well, that's the fucking ladder. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. That's well, just, to that's me, My Little Pony, like, if we're gonna really get bare bones and start, like, really snarking on cartoons, I think My Little Pony is fucking, like, the shit you've seen a hundred times. It's just, oh, here, it's like, have you ever watched Veggie Tales? It's the same fucking Dude, thing. Dude, it really is. It's, it's like, I morals. watched it. You learned your whole life. Veggie Tales. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like, oh, did you learn about sharing and not judging a book by its cover? Where are the 30 year preschool? old male fans of Veggie Tales? Like, I want <laughs> right human, here, I want human Come right here. Come guys. The closet. Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys ever see let's Donkey Kong's cartoon? Veggies, yes. no, whatever the fucking. The, in the Donkey Kong cartoon, for some reason, in every episode, they had to have a song, but it's every like kid a, watching it, it would just be like, it's like a 90s hip hop black guy. Yeah. There's just no point. Why go through the effort of writing a song if every kid's gonna hate it anyway? All the people that were dancing had to like show off how good their motion capturing is. They're always <laughs> fucking like dancing 
over standing still. He's like, yeah. what, what's the old guy's name? He's like, yo, Cranky, what you doing with all my bananas? Like, he's always, like, fucking flailing his hands around. And then Cranky's like, you know, he's also, like, throwing his fucking hands around. Yeah, it's a repulsive to look at. <laughs> but they have, like, really good, like, dance choreography. Like, King Carole is, like, fucking, like, spinning like a ballerina and doing all these crazy dances and shit. Wait, is like, it a CGI show? Yeah, yeah I've never, CGI never heard of it. Motion You've never seen a really? Donkey Kong cartoon? No, it's, it it it's horrible. Didn't, didn't, didn't we really have it on DVD? I had it on VHS, yeah. <laughs> or v- yeah. They compiled all the episodes. It's like a movie called The Crystal of Coconut or whatever. Did they? It was a TV show, but they also compiled a lot of episodes into yeah, a weird. quote-unquote movie. Weird. It's like back the to Legend that. of the Crystal Coconut or something? Yeah, I, I saw it at like a blockbuster. I was like, wow, this looks awesome. It's Donkey Kong, a TV show. <laughs> and I put it on like 10 minutes and my dad left and I felt so bad. I was disgusted with myself. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely feel like Disney movies have a kind of weird... Um, even like the Lego movie, like that wasn't a bad film, but I felt like halfway embarrassed when I was watching it the whole time. I felt, I felt out of place. Yeah, uh, but, its target demographic is like nine-year-olds. That, that, yeah, I, I know. hear that though, but so is like SpongeBob or like any of the '90s Renaissance. Wait, movies, what are you right? talking about? I, the I, Lego movie. I just can't stand that upbeat. Like, it means awesome. <laughs> I mean, it's like, not bad films by any means. I just it feels they're well like, done, but the writing is just it's, it's just more bro is. humor. I really hate this is so specific, but that like crutch they use for writing, where you hear like the same word over and over again, like awesome, for example, like it's the awesome blade of awesomeness. Yeah. Like, they'll be like, I don't know, it, does it happen in Adventure Time? Yes. Like, the whole, like, what Adventure is, Time does Mother's Reward because they always, they combine two random elements to yeah, make it seem yeah. like it's It's the space muffin amulet. Yeah, well, oh, well, I hate well, that. Look, well, it's the cotton candy oh, bear. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking it's hate that. it on Twitter when people say, like, so and so and so, because reasons. That's not funny. I hate that because reasons. Oh, they say, oh no, it, mine is, I did a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm sorry for, because there is a lot of I did a thing people that I'm following on, yeah. uh, on Twitter because no. I see it every day, but I'm sorry. I swear to God, you can make a generator for how to write adventure time episodes. Take uh, food and then animals and then something <laughs> else and put it together. Yeah. That said, it's a very highly regarded show. I'm not not. Hey, I, it's not a it's not a bad yeah. show. I'm just I'm knocking that, it. That, that Fuck element it. of writing for. I haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it. I just can't. Yeah, I just can't <laughs> judge you. Yet. I don't know. Every character in all these shows acts like a bro. It's the same character. The only bro. show that was built on the concept bro of like, dude, like nice. actual Ruffins. like two bros that are like stoners in a way yeah. was regular show. I liked regular show. But regular Beavis show. Flapjack too I liked what I Yeah, saw. but regular show was actually like, you know, it's not like this like quirky bro humor. It's actually like fucking bro humor. Like, it's was, like actual bro humor. Was Clarence the show with the molester creator guy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he had that. Having... What? Let's just wait, bring that up. Just wait, bring it what? up. what? I, a... I have to say Clarence is actually pretty appealing. Yeah. To, to clarify, seriously, he doesn't molest children, but he fucking followed the lady who worked with him. Like, I think Asperger's. We couldn't help it. So? Steven no Universe. Steven Universe I actually get irritated with. I tried to I tried to give the first episode a chance. Steven Universe. And I'll try to I'll try to give it a chance. I talked talk to, to people. I talked to people, and they're like the whole first season where they're like, "Oh, uh, what's his name? Steven gets better." And I'm like, "Yeah, we still an annoying fat kid for the first." The first half. episode, he's like, "Hey, I love donuts and pizza." Yeah, it's like, annoying. I, 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 I have to turn off. I, I know, it. I know. The whole first season of it. Steven was just like him being a fucking idiot, causing like big mass disasters. And I'm like, "Oh, he's a quirky fat kid." It's like it's not funny. Stupid because he caused all the problems, and I'm not gonna feel sorry for some fat stumbling idiot who's trying to be friends with everybody. But they're like, no, in, in the later seasons, he grows a character arc. It's like, if your first fucking season is him being a dumpy idiot, then I don't care about your second season. <laughs> Fuck your show. Do your best impression of Steven Universe. He's like, oh, boy, you just made me a popcorn necklace. <laughs> and he drops it in a fucking portal, and then a big alien comes out. He's like, well, do you want a popcorn necklace also? Oh. It's like the theme is popcorn necklace, and that's all he does. They're like, Steven, you fat fuck, look what you did. And he's like, hey, we made popcorn necklaces. They all laugh. So that sounds hilarious. And that's it, what it is. It's so cool. He convinced me to watch it now. He's just kind of like a Mary Sue guy. Yes, uh, he's a Mary, he's a boring, it's like, like, it's like, an, it's like you're supposed to put after, yourself right? with Steven, but you can't relate at Mary's, all to Steven. Yeah, I don't know. Like, yeah, he causes problems. I thought problems. Mary Sue is like, don't do anything wrong. They're just perfect. No, he uh, does it, do it everything almost wrong. Seems like he, he means goody two-shoes. Yeah, goody goody two-shoes. He's like a goofy fat kid who wants to be friends with everybody. About it. Yeah, but they have like Squidward and patching stuff. The point is that character can be done right. Well, apparently they ran him right, like fucking seven episodes later. That's what I heard about BoJack as well. Like it's good in episode eight. Oh, here's the thing for fucking writers: don't make your characters get interesting at, uh, when the whole fu- when the first fucking season is almost done. Yeah, if you have bad a show, idea. If you have a show, you don't be able to say, "Oh yeah, it gets good in, in episode twelve of season one." When I saw Seinfeld, like the later seasons got really good, yeah. but the first seasons were still charming and it's good. Still good, you're still watching. You're but still I mean, the later ones got really funny. Someone told me that Final Fantasy thirteen. 
gets good 100 hours in. He literally said 100 <laughs> yeah. hours in. Yeah. yeah, when people say me that, I'm like, mm, mm, I'm not going to play a game yeah. for 22 hours just to experience yeah. the fruits of fucking Final Fantasy and its good side. <laughs> or you talk about Squidbillies for exactly oh, one minute. Fuck. Okay, so Squidbillies is one of those things where I remember everyone was like, oh, watch Squidbillies, and I watched the first episode. It's just like these squid hicks that kill everybody, and I'm like, mm. like oh, it gets good. I'm like, when does it start getting good? It's like, oh, it gets good by season three. No, they're just hicks. The only one that's likable is his son, because he's a gullible idiot who gets caught with his dad. He's like, suck, suck on the side of the shotgun. There's candy at the end of it. And he sucks on it. His fucking head explodes. He's like, you're not supposed to pull the trigger, idiot. And it's like, oh, that's funny. Oh, dude, you know what's weird? I sometimes watch, like, podcasts and stuff as background noise, and uh, sometimes I, like, watch Howard Stern clips, and there's this, like, homophobic racist clown who's, like, an actual asshole and very unfunny. And I found out <laughs> very recently that this clown is the creator of Brickleberry. Oh, a clown. A circus clown. A circus clown. Brickleberry. He voices Bender the Bear. A <laughs> clown from Howard Stern invented Brickleberry. That's what that's what Bender is. It's just oh, yeah. fucking. It, it's just like oh, he smokes and drinks. So he's a little bit okay. Yeah. 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 And that's TV shows. You like Brickleberry Tour? I like Jesse no, in it. It's pretty funny. Yo, what's up, Horace? Yo, what's up, Bojack? Brickleberry To be a brand new character I've never seen before in yeah, TV show before. <laughs> I remember I watched the first Bitch. episode I watched of Brickleberry. <laughs> <laughs> the first episode I watched of Brickleberry, it was fucking like it was the one where these hillbillies bring like these hillbilly tornadoes. Like they come in on. Did tornadoes. I watch that with you, Corey? Yeah, they come in on tornadoes. It was, house. it was trying to be so offensive as possible. Like these like overly stereotyped like guys, where it's like it was just it's it was just written for the sake of being offensive. Yeah. And I was talking to like someone. It's like when you write something of being just your, your whole point is being offensive, and the characters aren't likable. There's nothing charming about them. They're just charmingly offensive. I was watching this thing um called a. Uh, Captain Tardigrade on the Newgrounds thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the character is like, he's an asshole in a degree, but he's not meant to be an asshole. I really enjoyed he's those just, Captain Tardigrades. But he's just like this guy who's like impervious and can't die. But he's just like, you know, he's like, he's trying to give he's like helpful help. safety tips to yeah, these kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these kids just like stick their hands in fucking stockets, sockets and get electrocuted. And he's just like, did you learn your lesson? And he's like, I learned I'm not a Tardigrade. It's like, yeah, good job, Terry. <laughs> yeah, 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 But it's funny because he didn't force his like, stick your hand in the socket and hurt yourself, dumbass. It's none of that stuff. Yeah. The but that's what Brickleberry is. It's like trying to be as offensive as possible with no point. I think, don't like I, it. Well, I, think, I think this even ties into Harry's series too, because you know your your no 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 series in the sense of the Starbarians. You, yes, your characters are dim-witted, like, but they're also not like assholes? they're not they're not malicious characters. Well, I don't think I've really like done that idea justice yet, because each episode takes a fucking lifetime to make. But eventually, I think I'll get there. <laughs> yeah, but when you get there, I think like the the thing is the offensiveness has to be a byproduct. It can be the purpose. If it, you're trying to do something really funny. And it just happens to offend. That's okay. Yeah. If you're trying to offend and hoping it turns out funny, it's only funny to yeah. some people. You're that's right. that's but even those people, like, people are gonna know what you're doing too. You can always tell. You can if you sit down and write a joke and you say, "How do I offend somebody? How do I uh, be yeah. offended?" That's, yeah, that's pretty Never gonna be because no, like these like tractors landed and these hillbillies are sitting in their fucking like pulled out seats and then they're like, "Yeah, look at these." Fucking it's homos. the writers. And they're like, I'm gonna go fuck my. The sister. writers are like, it's like they, they watch Futurama. They're like, Bender's really funny. Let's make all of our characters like Bender. Yeah. And it's like there's no one to riff off each other. Then yeah, exactly. You need contrast. You yeah, can't have everyone be an asshole. Yeah, yeah and, and, and no, I mean, characters juxtapose. What they do is, like, is they see Bender act like a cunt, and they're like, that's funny, but they don't realize that Bender always gets his comeuppance. At the exactly, end. like Cartman. Like yeah. the, the the one at the time that Cartman like basically gets his one up on someone in the yeah. Scott Tenman episode. Yeah. that is like so earned. It's like monumental. It's funny too, because because it's it's so flipped. Yeah, like, I think and you also hate Scott Tenerman too. So exactly. Exactly. I always thought that Bender was one of the best, well-written characters. He is, in all regards, supposed to be a shitty character. He <laughs> steals. He's mean. He's an asshole. He kills, and he's like wants to kill all humans. But then he he meets Fry, and Fry's like his best friend. Yeah. So you get this like humanitarian side to him where he loves Fry, and he'll do anything for him. But he'll be like, Fry, I'll kill humans for you. Like he's like, <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. so he like kills. He'll stab someone to save Fry. Like he'd be like, hold on, I, I'll help you. Friday, he puts a person in front of him that gets penetrated. He's like, no, no, we're good. We're all squared off. So you're saying there's kind of a balance. Yeah, because you need like that. If you have somebody who's just a belligerent asshole, even like him, where he's just like a conniving, manipulative, like he goes, to, he like cheats on women robots, but he's like, yeah. you know, he clearly has a humanitarian. So even when he gets his comeuppance, he's still like, well, you still feel sorry for him yeah. when he's like in that state when he, you should feel sorry for him. Even even in uh, shows where quote unquote the whole cast is like assholes or jerks, like Seinfeld, they're always sunny. Oh god, where the yeah. main cast is supposed to be. Kind 
kind of jerks. They still God, make yeah. it appealing, and everybody, everybody in that world hates them, yeah. and they constantly lose. They're losers. They're yeah. always I think, losing. Wait, I don't like that show drawn together. You ever watch that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that that show is an example. Like, that's an offensive I for... We yeah. talked about that. I like the concept of the show. I like the some of the animation in it, but my God, like, what's his name? Captain Hero? Mm -hmm. He's just horrible. Yeah. Like, yeah. Horribly offensive. I think yeah, one It's of the, not funny. It's just, it's just like, okay, and? Yeah. And? He fucks corpses. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, that... Uh, Homer is a... Obviously, classic character, but Fox corpses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, season twenty-seven. They did, they it did goes out there, dude. To, to be fair, there. there's <laughs> one character I do <laughs> like in drawn together, and that's Waldor Sockbat. Yeah, the little like yellow yeah, yeah, yeah. guy. SpongeBob. Because, yeah, SpongeBob. Because yeah. his character, like Waldor, he's just this like gullible idiot. Yeah. He's like people's friends. Well, he's not he, vindictive. He's not vicious. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's, he can be vindictive, but that's only if he's manipulated. Yeah. He's a nice guy. He tries to be nice, but people are mean to him. And when he is an asshole, it's kind of charming because he's really bad at it. Mm. When you see his character, you're like, he's a really entertaining character in that yeah. sense. It's like so strange because the gay character, um, Xander, yeah, yeah, yeah. he'll kill somebody for no reason. He'll just be like a mafia guy, like cutting someone up and he'll just be like, you give me your fucking money and then the next time you'll be like fucking a guy and it's just like, yeah. it's like weird. Like you don't even There's care. No balance. It's all just trying to, try yeah. too hard. It's trying too hard. Like Spanky Pig is a shitty fucking character. I hated Spanky Pig. They're all it's essentially the same all character. Exactly. Yeah. They're, they're, they're all just like bro. horribly wow, offensive murdering psychos. Yeah, that's, why, that's why I think Rick and Morty is so good because like Rick, he's a selfish asshole. He's like he's always right usually though. He's, yeah, 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 but he always does it for the greater good. Yeah. If you watch it, like yeah. I don't think Chris has seen. It. I don't want to spoil I mean, it. I've seen a few of them. <laughs> there's, there's a part where he, where he fucking makes a robot that hands him butter and then he puts butter on the plate and he's like, "What do I do now?" He's like, "Oh, you're created for butter and that's your only <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. In life. yeah." And then he's like, <laughs> he has enough sentience to know yeah, that he's, he's like, like, "This is my purpose in life is to hand butter." <laughs> yeah, he's like, well, but, "Welcome to the human race." But he doesn't like mean it to be a dick. As, uh, that, that, no, it's just a revelation, like, well, right. welcome to the club kind of thing. It's not like, fuck you, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, bad. Well, yeah. Yeah. That joke in The Simpsons where Kirk Van Houten's like, Oh, I sleep in a racing car. <laughs> yeah. And Homer's yeah, yeah, like, I sleep. sleep in a big bed with my wife. Like, <laughs> it's so fucking cruel. Yeah. It's super, super cruel. But the fact is, Homer doesn't know he's being cruel. He's just a dumbass, yeah. to be honest. <laughs> So it's like, not only is it funny, like, cause it's like funny cause he's being a dick, and that's just kind of... There's like three layers of comedy. Yes! It's yeah. super funny! Wait, what does he say? The look on his face literally, too, is kind of I sleep in a nice house with a big bed with lots of money. No, no he says... Oh like, yeah, the guy's divorced, and he's kind of trying to impress Homer, he says, I sleep in a racing car, where do you sleep? And Homer says, I sleep in a big bed with my wife. Yeah, the guy's like being an asshole, he's like, where do you sleep? He's, he's like, trying, so he deserves it. Cool. He's yeah. just yeah. like, smiling, like, happy. He does not mean to be a dick, he's just too stupid to know he's being a dick, and that's so much funnier. Homer's fine, he's just answering you. Yeah! To be fair. That's how like old like you know old Family Guy how Peter used to be written. He was he wasn't mean. He was, he an, was idiot. Just an idiot. Yeah. The term lovable oaf. Is yeah, he was an oaf. Yeah. He was an oaf. idiot. He's like he's like guys. I did this celebrity of selling all our furniture for beer, and they're like, why'd you do that? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> everybody likes beer. He doesn't because he doesn't realize it. That is such a season one Family Guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and they're like Never. Peter, what do we sleep on? He's like, don't worry, Lois. I already got you covered. Exactly. Come like, up with a season. Out of beer come up with a something. season twelve Family Guy joke the, on the spot. Uh, hey. Stewie and Brian are staring blankly at the camera. And there's a dead body. Yeah. What, what, what does Stewie say? I'll be Brian. <gasps> yes, describe the joke in detail when it's not funny anymore. It smells like a dead body in here. It smells like a dead body in here. Yeah, and then Brian would be like, Yeah, let's cut her open and get inside of her. And then they cut her open and pull her out. That's He's like, Ooh, I found a new magazine to read. <laughs> That's the joke. Season 12 Family Guy is like, Did you, did you laugh? It I would can't. literally, yeah. they, they would just try to be offensive. It's like, Oh, what's the first thing to ride? It's like, The liver. You think there's any beer in there? And I'll like rip it open. Yeah. And then they'll come and start <laughs> fucking it. It's like, Dude, the, I was watching a thing where like Peter. Peter's trying to impress oh, Chris, sorry, to and so he, he like that walks over and brings a decapitated head of a child, and he's like, "Look, like took you in that bully." I Chris can't is, tell if you're Chris, kidding. No, no, no I can't real. tell. That's I, real. And I, <laughs> is it real? And, it's and, real. and then Chris it's says, real. "That's oh, not my boy," and Peter hell. says, "Oh, whoops, that's the joke." <laughs> hey, Peter, what did you get up to today? I raped some whore. She deserved it though, because she was there asking for it. She was wearing a skirt. <laughs> Fucking slut. By the way, black should be slaves again. Wow, I can't believe I can't believe you got something forward to write that joke for the podcast. Oh.
<laughs> that was another thing I can't stand that they do is when they're like drag something out way too fucking yeah, long. Yeah, like 12 minutes of an yeah, 80s yeah, yeah, movie yeah, yeah. just recreated shot for shot. You know what I think? <laughs> they they take it away, Conway the Twitty. Ryan's office early that day. Yeah. What sucks is that they do that like it's a win-win for them because if you know the reference you're like, oh, it's that reference. But if you don't know it they just seem really clever. Yeah. Seth MacFarlane did it in Ted which is why that's what I lost respect for. He stole he stole a joke from, from, airplane. The, from the airplane. Yeah. yeah. But Airplane's a comedy film. Yeah. It's not homage at that point. It's joke theft. Yeah. What was the joke? Do you remember? It was, it was um, the scene where he's like, how did we meet? Yeah, how did he meet the and girl? And then the bar, and he walks in and does they dance to the thing. You know what I mean? It's it was the that same joke. exact thing. But like, yeah, to the people who've never show. seen yeah, Airplane, it's like, that was a funny yeah, joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the people who have seen Airplane, it's like, that was a funny reference. But see, I hadn't seen Airplane in yeah, a long yeah, time. Airplane, so I yeah. laughed at the theater when I saw that part. That was the only joke I laughed at. <laughs> but I was like, that's for Airplane, dude. You know, so yeah, you know that part? I was like, oh. You know what I think the problem is? We'll just say this strictly. I think this is the problem with like the new Powerpuff Girls is they take a trait and they blow yeah. up to a hundred. So like if Stewie was at any point a cross-dressing gay man, gay baby, sorry, that he is a fucking super homo cross-dresser in like the newer season. If but Peter it's called was, I was about to say, yeah, yeah, flanderization. It's it's exactly what it, like in the new Power of Girls, like you know the Tom tomboy was Buttercup, but in the older one she kind of was a tomboy on occasion. Yeah. She showed her tomboyness, but she wasn't consistently like, oh, let's get in a bro fight. I'm so awesome. I'm so cool. I'm she's like a cool. dyke I'm, now. Yeah, she's Not just like a boringly <laughs> written dyke. And and, yeah. like, all the other characters are just boring, over God, set. And some of them don't even make sense. <laughs> like, in the old one, fucking, like, Bubbles was just, like, this, like, innocent, cutesy girl who played with dolls. And this one, she's just, like, she's catching up on the hottest memes, and she's fucking, like, listening to twerk songs. It's like, get the fuck out of here. It's she, not she, she accurate she, she at all. She checks know your meme every day. She, she's refreshing troll face on Wikipedia. Yeah. There's a new episode of The Simpsons where Smithers comes out as gay. Like, did the person who wrote that not get that the joke <laughs> is that Smithers... <laughs> is that real? Is, yes! It's supposed he, to like, he comes out as gay. No, you're not getting Smithers. He <laughs> hides that he's gay. Yeah, that's the joke. Yeah, they, just, they run out of shit at this point. Like, I get it. Like, I was watching a newer episode. They did some bit where it's like Lenny and Carl were like holding hands and like they they played it seriously. And uh, Marge was like, "Oh, good for them." I was waiting for the joke, and that was it. They, no, it's just they're gay. They're gay faggots. They, they fuck. fuck. They fuck, dude. They <laughs> fuck in the bar. He's like, <laughs> "What's his name?" <laughs> he's like, "Hey, homie." Who the <laughs> fuck is that? Hey, <laughs> homie. That was a weird that was hey. weird, like four different voices. Hey, you used to just catch hey. oh, who's, the, who's the guy with like crazy red hair? Oh, Barney, yeah. No, who's the guy with like crazy like red hair who's like Sideshow Bob? Sideshow Bob, yeah. Oh. There's like so much porn of Raider? Sideshow Bob. What? Fucking Bart. <laughs> like, honestly, of all the porn, like if you think of like, you know, um, <laughs> his hair of, like his pubes? Yeah, if you think Sweet. of Bart fucking like Lisa or like Marge fucking Bart or Homer fucking, all this like stuff of them yeah, fucking, yeah. the family fucking each other, there's way more of Sideshow Bob like carving lines into Bart's head while he fucks it. <laughs> does Sideshow Mel ever get in on the action? Like, does he like take his bone out and shove it? No, 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 no. It's always Sideshow Bob and Bart because I remember like Sideshow Bob Mr. wanted Teeny. to kill Bart. Sideshow Mel is such a funny character. Yeah, he's good. He's so, he's such a failure. For <laughs> he's like <Bob>. tragedy. <laughs> so I, that's always been interesting to me. You'd expect to see more like of Marge, but there's more Sideshow Bob. Well, it's progressive now these days. Yeah. Ooh, I'm done. Homer gay. <laughs> Smithers released the dogs. Oh no, I must run away. It was a Simpson bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dr. Marvin Monroe. <laughs> that was a spicy reference. Oh yeah. You're dead after season one. <laughs> I'll be African American Smithers. That'll work, uh, I'll work in audio for me. <laughs> beer can, man. Beer can. I told Corey yesterday that if he says beer can, it'll sound like a Jamaican saying beer can. Beer can, man. Beer, beer can. Beer can. Uh, uh, beer can. really delighted Corey. <laughs> Beacon. <laughs> Dude, oh, his light, his face lit up. <laughs> little face. Beacon. Get a baby face smile. <laughs> What the? Uh, <laughs> you need to CSI that to see That's why that was so weird. That's still trying to escape my membrane. <laughs> you know the troll side of me? I suppressed it uh, with like recent years, but it's gonna come out one of these it's days. It's gonna come out of your body like the fucking aliens. <laughs> <laughs> you, is that you're pushing a fucking Charles Manson? You see the like, Charles, Charles, how do you feel? He's like, dude, dab, deep, dab, dub, 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 dub. He fucked himself up on like the psychedelics and stuff yeah. because he thought like, you know, like, it was the end of all time. Was like, what do you he's think? He's trying like, to start a race for by killing Yeah, he's trying to set a 
race yeah. war. Like, he thought, like, he was doing good. But who has good. it? You know what I mean? We've all had a bad days. <laughs> he always gets a really hot girlfriend to visit him in a prison. Yeah, he's been married, like, five times since yeah. he's been in oh, prison. Oh, yeah. That's because... I think at this point, like, if they released him, he just started killing again, they'd be like, well, uh, I guess we didn't really... It's, the question is, would anybody follow him again? Could he, could he convince anybody to kill anybody again? I'd, I'd, I'd do it for him. Well, this yeah. time, you could knock over his walker, and he wouldn't I would be do able it. to do much. If you just see those faces, you just ask him questions. Yeah, if you just record them. Do that, do that. Maybe that's why we give so many girlfriends. They're just like, look, just put your head down there. I'm gonna ask <laughs> you, you a question. You, you, <laughs> you slowly <laughs> guide his head down with your head. Yeah. He's Gerald totally McBoing Boing in the real world. That's his real name. <laughs> no one Gerald McBoing Boing? Boing? Yeah. That's like one kid who's like, Gerald, make a sound effect. And he's like, <laughs> like making like loud fucking yeah, he's like, sounds. <laughs> <laughs> so like Gerald McBoing Boing's in his room and he's like going, <laughs> like an alarm clock for his parents. Who the fuck is Gerald McBoing Boing? <laughs> dude, he's dude, a little boy. You know, Gerald McBoing Boing. He can replicate boy, sound dude. effects. Yeah, he's who is this? A cartoon character from the 50s, like an old UPA cartoon. <laughs> yeah, he looks like, kind of like Peabody animation. and Sherman style, but Rocky and Bullwinkle looking kind of. Yeah, shit. like he basically can make any sound effects. Any he sound. Him. He couldn't talk, he could only do sound effects. Is it a real Again, boy? Again, autistic. <laughs> Are you sure? No, 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 it's a cartoon. It's like, uh, like Mr. Magoo or something. Yeah, yeah, like if he heard his mom and dad fucking upstairs, like, <laughs> like then he'd be able to make that make exact sound effect with the, oh, like that bird. That yeah, liar yeah, he's bird. Like yeah. Like yeah, he's a liar bird in a real person's body. Yeah. Do you ever think someone's like Gerald? Like, what is like a wet puss sound like? Yeah, like <laughs> having pencils shoved in it, and he's like, I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. Super accurate. <laughs> You're like Gerald, what does yeah, a human class. voice sound like? He, like, he can make yeah, a hot class. Like, Gerald, make yeah. pussy yeah. farting Gerald, sounds. Gerald, say this. Hello, like, I am Gerald. <laughs> I Hello, I am Gerald. He just says a fucking hot attack. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's yeah. Yeah, he's like, he's like, he's like, oh! Uh, if Gerald McBoing Boing was my friend, I would just be telling him, like, Gerald McBoing Boing, Boing, make realistic pussy sounds. Yeah. And he'd be like, <laughs> Jack off to him. Yes. Make realistic <laughs> diarrhea noise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, do it again. Dude, and he goes home with mom and dad slap him until he stops. <laughs> can he do different, like, textures and sound effects? Yes, like, can he can do he, anything. Can, can he pop out, like, he do... diarrhea on cement or yes. in a bathtub? Yes, <laughs> yes, Can he have a roster of di different sound effects? Yes. He like, can do literally any he sound can do wave. Any sound. He can do an animal sound. Can he impersonate sound. the president? Yes. Can he do a perfect impression of the president? He could be like, I did it. I shot why, JFK. Why the fucking Soviets capture him? Would dissect him and fucking do test on him? Have people order like the president, yeah. Every single day he got home from school, his mom and dad would have to beat the bad words out of him. Yeah, that's go, that's why you can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> you can only make fucking noises. <laughs> you yell like boing boing against the kitchen floor. His lips are really swollen. <laughs> <laughs> so you can only make fart sounds and animal sounds? That's all can do? That's how boing boing's category goes? He's like, if you listen closely, you can That's what I'm saying! He's like really in pain. pain. He's like a parrot. Parrots can actually like recite... Like, have you ever seen videos of like parrots sitting in cages where they like make like the sound of like bacon cooking and like fucking... Like yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Then they're like, "All right, someone's ready." Do they actually like have a comprehension of language? Or no, it... no. What? No. <laughs> What's the one with the baby with the purple crayon? What are you talking what? about? Caillou? A... No, dude. Caillou's like a dumb cancer patient who always gets grounded. <laughs> How come every time I bring up Caillou, everyone Fuck says Caillou. he has cancer? He's a little chemo patient. He's not. What? He's just this little spoiled shit, and, like for fucking babies who gets grounded. How come the backgrounds are never colored in properly? <laughs> Because they're in like a fucking endless void. They all died years ago. <laughs> Didn't you see the creepy class? It's predatory. It's, it's not Frederator. 107 facts about the Caillou, Caillou being theory. dead. Is Caillou dead? Is Caillou of cancer and died and was, like all these items are from his like fucking patient's room? That's what they said about Pokemon. <laughs> they said Pokemon was like he got in a fucking coma and that's why he doesn't ride bikes anymore because he, he got in a coma because of the bike accident and that's why like he sees Nurse Joy and everyone in the same town no matter where he goes because he's in a coma so the only first people he saw is the reason why he sees them. Just based on an old Game Boy game with extremely limited memory resources, probably. <laughs> no, this is based off the anime, not the fucking video game. <laughs> Harry. This is Pokemon Yellow, dude. Are there, are there any underrated films that you've seen? Animated films that you've seen? Uh, underrated, underrated. That you really go, like, how the fuck does this have more, like, love for it? There's a movie called Rock and Rule, which is an old 80s movie, where they had, like, real-life musicians like Blondie and I think Lou Reed really? do songs for the soundtrack. Uh, and but this like music is part of it, and it is kind of like a furry movie because it's like it's like a world of dog people, but it's super beautiful. And I never hear anyone talk about What's it. What's it called? Really Rock and Rule. Rock and Mm -hmm. uh, and it's kind of like very dark, very kind of gritty looking. Um, it's kind of like a cool dystopian rock and roll 
action cool. movie, but it's from like 1981. It's interesting learning about stuff you never really see until you're older and you realize that all this stuff is online. You yeah. could totally just watch it. Yeah, that's a great online. question, but I, like it's gonna hit me no, no, six no, hours it's, it's from now. Too, so I'll finally, yeah. have an answer. Like we in this house, we watched like triplets of Belleville like a million times. Oh yeah, that's, that's great. That's, that's a great cool movie. Really nice, yeah. Like the dog. Yeah. Oh, the dog's great. Like his eyebrows when he's like so yeah, yeah. yeah, his little it's tiny so stick like, legs supporting yeah. his weight. He's so much like a real dog. I always had like a thing for like old like movies where like. Like people were brought into a cartoon world. I always thought that was such a like, cool concept. Like a uh, Roger Rabbit kind of thing? Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, I was really... I liked Rock-A-Doodle. Do you remember that? I liked the beginning of Rock-A-Doodle. I thought it was yeah. really cool. They're making they Space Jam too. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Well, they're, like, brought into the world. The second they're brought in, and then it's like, then they keep going, I'm just... I don't even care anymore. I'm tired of it. There's a recent commercial that Mike... I think it's Mike did, where there's, like, basketball players, live-action basketball players, and they put in animated Looney Tunes characters. Yeah. And it's awful. Like, the animation is acceptable, yeah. but there is no physical comedy. With the Looney Tunes characters? Oh, they just get like pushed on the ground? Yeah! Like, there's no more like, you know, people going through black holes or getting like a like, frying pan on the head and their eyeballs coming out or anything. There's none of that shit. They basically could have done that's it with just like midgets. That's too cartoony, Hilly. That's for babies. You know? <laughs> I, I, th- I like, uh, and it was 2D? Yeah, 2D. I had a feeling the new Space Jam would have 3D like... Oh, you can't do that with the Looney Tunes. They're making though. a Space Jam 2? They did though, and it looked well, really good. It's been on the cards for a while, and apparently LeBron James is going to be in it, but yeah. I don't really see it happening. No, nobody knows who fucking... He's, yeah. I've heard more more about it. Like it, it seems Will to be Bill Murray up. be in yeah. it? I'm telling you right now, Space Jam was a product of its time. It's one of those nostalgia movies. Sequels. Just a product of its yeah, time. Yeah. I'm sorry to go back to this for a second, but Zach asked about good animated movies. Uh, yeah, I watch a lot more shows than movies. There's a TV show called Galaxy High. It's done by uh, Chris Columbus, who is like directed like the first Harry Potter. Yeah, movie. Potter guy? yeah, and like uh, a movie called like The Young Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. It's like a stupid '80s cartoon about a boy and a girl that go to a high school in space, and it's like filled with aliens. Lloyd in space. But watch episode one if you want to see like an amazing cartoon that is super underrated. Is it is it an eighties cartoon or eighties style cartoon? No, it's an eighties cartoon. But like it's actually funny yeah. and animation's beautiful. It, like it's funny to me as an adult in two thousand sixteen. Yeah. The episodes after are not super good, but like for a twenty minute short film, it's, it's like they tried their hardest to make do good with a pilot, but they yeah. did, like you know they yeah, lost like uh, Hellbenders. Else. <laughs> Ow. Ow. What? Can so I Zach, Zach, when is episode uh, of Hellbenders next? Put a date on it now. Right, right now. 2067. Like, here's a preview right here, folks, just for you. If we're talking about shows that I just don't understand, like I saw Code Lyoko. The hell's that? It's it's this anime in air quotes where they have like these the it's fucking like they have like the anime. massive forehead. Someone actually took a shot of like one of the girls and put the fucking entire theme song on top of her forehead. And it fit perfectly, <laughs> so they can you can fit the entire theme song on their fucking forehead. That's how big it is, wow. like a light bulb. But the whole entire show. It's just rehash of old French scenes that they like in the actual cartoon. They did one episode where they explain how they go into like the like virtual world. It's kind of like almost like this video game side to it, mm. where they go into this virtual world. Yeah. But they like re they use this animation of specifically where these people get into an elevator. They go into this factory and they repeat the same like three D animation they had. And it's like the same like weird plots where like this like Xana guy infects something where it's like he may infect it so all the doors are locked in the school. It's because like a boarding school or he may make it so people can't leave the room like, like the, all. All the rooms are the same they keep going through doors so it's like weird like that yeah. and they're running into the elevator and he's like running after them and then he like calmly gets into the elevator because they were <laughs> reusing the animation and then when they reopen it the animation comes out all evil looking again but they used an old shot of him where he looked fucking normal and then they made him like calmly walk towards the thing and then immediately cut to him like running towards the stuff so they didn't even properly edit it there's probably two hours of reused animation I think all your thoughts is what do you think of the, when you see those Disney how Disney reused a lot of animation like of the dancing cycle, I could understand it. it seems like it's because it's more like harder probably to do. Like, because I remember seeing like like the like it was like a thirty minute thing of like the sword in the stone and yeah, like Robin use, Hood. Yeah, they reused quite a few like walk cycles and dancing and like the. I think they reused the animation for the snake in um, uh, Robin Hood and also Jungle. Yeah, yeah. But there's only like five or six examples that pe- everyone points it's out. Not even that. Yeah. yeah. Is it purely done out of laziness or is it slightly like oh let's kind of let's have a little Easter egg, it's a little yeah. homage. 
you know? I feel, I feel like it could go either way. It's not like, it's yeah. not like Family Guy when it's cheap and it's just you're pulling out of a library. Not to like want to pat ourselves on the back too much, but animation's a huge ball, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you might want to take a shortcut. Like yeah. those movies are amazing in, in a lot of respect. Well, to, so. be, to be fair though, the Sword of the Stone reused Probably. the animation in their own cartoon. Like they reused the same thing shot like But I never know. I never noticed until some smart ass on YouTube exactly. like took different clips and was like, Wow, you call like, yourself an animator? It's like, <laughs> Dizzy's yeah. cutting it's corners not like, doing full in motion rotoscope. What a bunch of hats. It's not like it cuts to fucking Steamboat Willie and he's like pulling the sword out. You know? It's, it's, <laughs> you, you don't notice until some, some nerd points it out. Yeah, yeah, some nerd is like fucking well, like, it's like it's this dance animation where he's like... Reuse props too and props and other things. Like, Harry, yeah. Yeah. did you ever take a shortcut in animation you were like ashamed of? No, 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 no I was ashamed of really. Um, I don't know what you were proud of. You're like, no one's gonna fucking know Okay, uh, this is kind of nerdy. I posted this before on Twitter. Um, Basically, anytime you see fire in a cartoon of mine, it is the same fire effect. The just, exact same one. Yep, uh, the exact same one. I just copy and paste the frames. It, it works, you know? Like, yeah. What if there was like a, you know, just, you're in a cave and there was torches coming out, what would you use the same fire yeah. out of both of them? Uh, yeah. What I would do different is, timing? Uh, yeah, I would grab Cut one, I would flip one, yes. and then offset oh. the timing by about six frames. Nobody's ever gonna notice. No one's ever gonna notice. You want to hear brilliant. something crazy? You know the music video, the, uh, the, the... I Know You Too Well? The, yeah, the I Know You Too Well music video I did? Yeah. yeah. There was only 17 backgrounds. Whoa. Except for like the like, part where like they point like, and stuff. That sounds like a lot, but that that video is like crazy. It's, yeah. Three minutes long, so there was, yeah. and also the saying I included finale season two. There was only sixty backgrounds. So I reused like sixty. Think of sixty. It was a fucking seventeen minute cartoon, and there were sixty backgrounds. Jesus. But the backgrounds were these huge <laughs> scapes. Yeah. yeah that you could just zoom cut into off sections of it. Yeah. I think that's what's brilliant about when you can take a background and you can swap it and flip it around. I do that all the time mm -hmm. to save like stuff because when I'm like, I don't want to fucking redo this because it took too long. So I'm just going to take it. I used to do that shit too with blood. Yeah, it's, I used it's to really... have a blood spurt that happened in every single character. Yeah. I like seeing the same see a well, live action mean... blood spurt in like every yeah. uh, action that guy with the glasses too. video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The fuck you, Harry. <laughs> they never take shortcuts. I see <laughs> movies with that now. I'm like, come oh, <laughs> on. Uh, I did the one. The get uses is like yeah. action essential. Yeah. Like blood yeah. spurt number two. Good job, guys. They don't, they don't even like hide it well. It just yeah. looks horrible. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> always see the same little rocks and the explosion coming out of the ground. Like they don't realize that light reflects off of blood. And, no. And yeah, it yeah. Just, it just looks like and a flat image. I, I spent like literally six hours trying to export a fucking animation of like when she shoots herself in the head and like a little gunfire on like the bullets in like the Sailor Moon second. The second Sailor Man cartoon. I spent like six hours just doing that alone, just to export the scene where she like shoots herself and the blood splatters, and it's just like that wasn't worth it. <laughs> that was stupid. So I have to envy the people who actually sit there and do all that stuff because that fucking. Sucks. You know, we all we have it easy compared to the guys who had to do it on fucking paper, yeah. <laughs> lights, uh. like cavemen. We have it easy. We can order Chinese food. They have to, they have to like flip a thing and then like take pictures of it. Could you imagine like the worst that could happen is Flash could crash, which sucks. Yeah. But imagine like physically ripping and tearing something. It must be a huge pain in the ass. Oh, yeah, they there's can't no, spill no, their noodles no, on it. Yeah, there's no chance of backup for you if you're you I don't get how they- like, how do they make it look like it's underwater? Is I it like a don't. giant piece of warped glass they have to slide under this- How do they yeah. do- It's like, Hadron Collider of a fucking- <laughs> I always- I actually yeah. always think of that. Yeah, how yeah. do they make things look underwater? I don't understand, like, old 80s anime stills. Like, when you see an anime, and then you see the stills of it, you're yeah. like, this was moving at one point? Yeah, it's every- like, every still looks this? like a masterpiece of, like, art. Yeah, it's yeah. like, how do you paint this? And then you realize that they, like, sometimes cut corners where, like- They did it by hand. Yeah, but sometimes- Sometimes they cut corners where they'll have a background and then they'll have a shade of brown that's slightly brighter. That's the crumbling part of like a, a ground yeah. or something. They made fun of it in one of these like anime things, but they actually like, if you really look at an anime up close, you can actually see where the painted background has parts that aren't fully done and they look like they're drawn on top of it. But you don't normally look at that. That's actually so really pretty. hard to do. Like when I was doing backgrounds, it, like when people make backgrounds and they look all kind of, they just look like splodges of color, but they somehow look great. That's like mm -hmm. harder to do than to make things look realistic to me yeah. anyway. What always bothered me, even as a kid, was when in like Scooby Doo, they'd be like, What? what where's the monster, Scooby? That's supposed to be Shaggy. <laughs> like, That's pretty good. Dead Shaggy. Um, <laughs> they'd, be, <laughs> they'd be like, Shaggy overdosing. A couple Jeez. of like. Like, like, I don't know, sarcophaguses or something, like, lined up against the wall, and one of them's clearly a cell and not part yeah. of the background. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, well, I wonder do... where he is! Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a cartoon that, like, parodied that, where they drew the, like, yes. the bush, and, and it jumped out of the painted one. I was like, what the yes. fuck? Yeah, there's, a, there's an anime that, like, made fun, like, they finally, they say, like, oh, don't worry, it's not gonna move, it's, like, part of the background. Yeah, that's yeah, what yeah, I'm talking yeah. about, that's yes. what I'm talking about. And then, and like, then the actual, like, the fucking painted one falls apart, and it looks beautiful. It's insane. It's the same in, like, Resident Evil, where you're, like, like, you can see the clock is, like, 
like not part of the rendered background. Yeah, it's like you a can crappy, see it's pixely low poly shit. model. Or like, like, that's gonna yeah, move. That's point. only because it moves to the side. Yeah, yeah. Like, the character's got like hiding in a bush that he's gonna put his legs out and start walking. Yeah, but I, I was playing like the new Final Fantasy uh, Nine with the HD remake for Steam. Yeah. All the backgrounds are like these horrible fucking like 240p quality of like mushed mm, backgrounds, yeah. and whenever there's Clearly, a character in the background. He's just laying on the picture. Do they he's not have than normal. like those images saved yeah, on 3D models? Yeah, I was thinking like, that. Can they not just replace the? No, they can't That's because it, at the time they made it's it. It's kind so of immersive small. in a way. It's yeah. Like if you see like this like pixely shadow stand, you're like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna do something. But now you see like this super like HD monster in a corner. You're just like, oh, it's right there. I can't miss it. There's yeah. no like artifacts blocking yeah. it when they yeah. zoom out far away. So you don't have that PS One. Yeah, charm. use the blend kind of. Yeah. Put a little noise grain over it all and helps. Yeah. But when I see like something like Dragon Ball Z, I'm just like they're painted over the background. How does this how do they how do you do this? I got this panning cell of Dragon Ball Z when Goku first lands to fight Frieza. It's like so fucking it's insane, oh, yeah. but it's like on a painted background, and then you like you take the layer off where he's comes onto the background. Yeah. And it's just yeah. like what? I got that. I can show you later. I love like I would really like to see a documentary. I've always thought if I had a, a lot of money one day, I'd make a documentary about the people that like animation is outsourced to. Yeah. Like the basically a lot of them are Korean women. That's or in drawn the together. Philippines. Drawn together was done completely with Korean animators. I want to see the lives of these people that just have to draw all day. Yeah. Like it's kind of gonna I be actually saw there was just, I saw like a, a, an album on uh, on the internet of just like a. Korean animators and like where they live mm. and they usually live in like these like kind of there's like a bed and a tablet and they always have these like things where they can lie in bed it, there's not much room it sounds fucking depressing it's, yeah it's not it a great lifestyle horrible. It they get paid like based on like I remember the reason like with Super and stuff they were paid based on like their the amount of cells they made mm. so that's why it's you know like Dragon yeah. Ball Super was so crappy they yeah. were probably like I need to fucking eat so I'm gonna just like, rush through this shit it's like four dollars a cell or something exactly yeah. they didn't make fucking beans on that it's, it Dude, it's even like, less it's like robbery like it's like if you were animating and they were like we'll give you four dollars every minute of animation it's like i don't get it like if you spread the wealth just a little bit more like surely all the best guys it, in town would want to go work up, you right? but then it's weird because like you hire these animators right like these like you, like these big company anime people that like you know like um trigger and like madhouse they hire like there's like a name for it i don't know what it's called but they hire these animators who specifically do fight scenes mm. or specifically focus on this and they give them tons of fucking money to do like these fight scene animations like tiny like 15 seconds just look phenomenal, but they give them so much money to do it. Then they give these people like this, like the people who do cell art. They give them like fucking nothing. Yeah, the anchors kind of. It's so weird. It's like the the, the like opposite. Like they clearly want to pay animators because Naruto costs like fucking millions of dollars to get their fight scenes in there. Yeah. Then they do like they fucking pay them shit for like the s simple cells and stuff and like the old back in the days and stuff. On a side note, though, did you ever see the How Popeye is Made video? Mm -mm. Back in the 50s or something, they, there was, like, one of those, like, videos where it was, like, How Popeye is Made. And, like, have you seen that? If it's, like, from the old Fleischer era Popeyes, where they actually made a model of the background, those yeah. ones? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Man, it was, like, insane. They'd, like, it's, like, not, then we send it off to the printing press. Was, then we send it off to the guy who does this. Then we send it <laughs> off to, like, like, 40 people work on, like, one frame. Yeah. They just keep shipping them off to different departments and, like, huge big machines and shit. Well, those pencil man. shavings are swept up by a brown. Fell off. <laughs> <laughs> well, he looks happy for what? Yeah. He eats them. Yeah. There's little, uh, I think we talked about there's little uh, Disney tutorial. He's kind of walking through Disney Studios. He's like, look, these pretty girls, kind of the cells. It's like a group full of like, girls. Like, I think somebody was telling me. It was me girls on the Popeye as well, coloring the cells. What was with Yeah, I think, I think there was also some rule I was hearing about that there was like the concern of girls. Yeah, well, Disney passed around a memo telling them that the animators were all married men and that the uh, color, yeah. ink and paint girls shouldn't <laughs> you know <what> I think <laughs> it is? Them. mess around. No. No. You know what I think it is? I don't think it's like insulting. I, I think it's because girls know how to color in between the lines. I'm, I don't know how to do that. Yeah, they're probably more organized. They're probably yeah. more organized. You're just like, guys, you're your big fucking apes. Like, when you see girls, like, they like, have these, like, pretty pictures and guys are all fucking messy with their lines everywhere. You it's guys like, are just yeah, rebels. Yeah, scratch. Yeah. It looks more vile. <laughs> That's what me, I, I can't color in between, all my shit's all, if you really like zoom in close, you would give me a fucking F, you give me an F for my coloring. Then you see these people who like prestigiously like color stuff, you're just like, hmm, I can't do that, not even on a coloring book. It's Isn't it amazing cool. how many people have lost their jobs to just going digital? <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. You just ink that shit with a big paint just saying, You ever see the video of the guys uh, showing how they made an old painted panning shot? Where they have like uh, four layers of glass, all like a... 
a, like a photo yeah. away from each other with the camera facing down. And it's like, okay guys, let's do it. So like there'll be four guys with their fingers on each dial to the side and they'll twist it like one like you yeah. know fraction or whatever and the, the glass will like move an inch down or whatever and then they'll take a picture and each person will yeah. have to do that. Why don't they just go use After Effects? That's what I'm saying. Fucking idiot. Fucking After Effects looks go better and it's like two seconds to Dumbass. do it. <laughs> I feel bad for the, the When guys. After Effects came they were like Fuck! <laughs> That's shit you fucked with. It was when they did a like 30 minute pilot for South Park, they must have been fucking like wanting to kill themselves. You can see actually in the first episode, you can see uh, like some of it, they went digital halfway through the episode. Mm. Really? So like you can see that some of it's like crappy paper animation. Then and then it cuts immediately yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't blame them though. Yeah. They're stupid to deal with paper. Imagine having to put down a little hand and put a mouth. That, that sucks doing Flash when you're like, hello, I went to the store and you're kind of doing it out. Yes. Imagine replaying it all like a fucking like oh a Oh my god, yeah. Time. I always loved how the intro though. Of, like South Park was them like putting the characters together on paper, yeah, yeah. Or things. Eight or whatever. but it was just that was it. it. Used Maya to animate the whole show, and you think, I think they so switched? Weird. You think they just ago. make their own software? I don't know. They animated the yeah. game in Maya. They were kind of like it's funny because like you know how animators are just will not fucking upgrade. People are like oh join <laughs> join CSC, and I'm like no fuck you. I'm doing CCS3. Yeah. I'm not ready to learn a new program. These guys are the same way. They're like no, we've been using Maya. We're gonna use Maya yeah, to animate the game, and they're just like okay. what they were saying when they first started out. They had like a room full of giant computers. Just the process it would take like a, like a week to just now they can do it on the fucking Apple the laptop. Yeah. You, know I mean? you guys yeah. probably talked about it before, but that five days to add documentary That's is such is awesome. awesome. That's so cool. I love watching Troy Parker be like like go from like laughing thinking it's the best episode to him yeah. being miserable. Yeah, 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 like the day before, like, he's like this is the worst thing I've ever, ever done. I feel this like that on all my projects. All the time. Yeah, it's just it's like stretched out. It's not five days. It's like five months. Yeah, you but, see yeah. all the emotions. That's usually that's usually after every project I do. Like I get on a project, I sketch it, I color it. I'm like it's looking good, and then by the end of it, I'm just like it's. Sucks. There's so many mess. There's so many errors. Yeah. There's so many mess. It's not even look good. It's not even be interesting. Yeah. It's, I recommend that documentary to anybody who wants to watch how they do South Park. It's called Five Days to. It's almost kind of like scary and stressful. Well, not the six idea days that they would. It's five or six. It's one of those two. Five doesn't work. Try six. What episode were they working on in that documentary? I think it was actually a bad one. I think it, it was, was a human centipede. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's like one of the worst episodes. Which you feel worse for because yeah. you see how hard they worked on it. But... Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. It's like we're making fun of like these like <laughs> Phoenix Wright animators who are doing a horrible job, but they're. <laughs> Getting paid four dollars per cell, and you're like, they, oh, they exactly. just came off Book of Mormon, or like, yeah. shit, we have to do South Park, so they're like, I, but it's like, where, how do they fit in the episodes where suddenly there's like an entirely new style? I like, don't know, dude. Like I mean, the, I think they kill themselves basically. Yeah, yeah. They yeah, do yeah, sometimes like, like do like some like crap in advance. I think the um, Good Times with Weapons, whatever it's called, or the, like heavy, big, the heavy, or the heavy, yeah, the major boobage one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think I they had those that. Time, yeah. I that. that was insane. God, they really had to go by with that. It's like everybody's always going, how do you make something look stupid and simple, but also get a cartoon out frequently yeah. and they did something that looks cheap but it also looks appealing yeah. it doesn't look shitty and you can make a 22 minute episode in fucking 5 days I wish days. I would, like nailed that style like I wish I had come no, up with too. that no me too that's what I'm saying I'm jealous that I did yeah, that first yeah. I would love to find something that I think is appealing but is really really that simple I can't do it every time I try and do it I'm like no that just looks lazy it looks like I'm not trying yeah. cause on one, yeah. on one hand you have South Park on the other hand you have Family Guy which is lazy in a you know, different way but yeah. you can tell it's lazy and it takes a lot longer to make yeah, yeah, exactly. I want to know how much the anime is on Family Guy, like the Korean, you know, people uh, on I'm Family sure Guy. Nothing. I want to know how many <laughs> islands made of gold Seth MacFarlane needs to buy. <laughs> well, people, people don't understand my beef with Family Guy sometimes, but like, if Family Guy came out of the gate looking bad, I probably wouldn't give as much shit. But it came out of the gate looking pretty good. It looked good. If you go back and yeah. watch season three, the yeah. characters move frequently. Yeah. The backgrounds are a little, they're not using the light tool. It's a little bit messy looking, they have but that, it's appealing. Remember that scene they where Tom that... Tucker, the news guy, yeah. is walking in the hallway really slowly? Really slowly, and it's yeah. like there's like a million fucking It's, it's like it's done walking. on ones. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Yeah. It's nuts. The, the Simpsons is kind of doing a similar thing. Yeah. I was watching on the plane over here some stuff from season 26. Actually, not super unfunny. I will give it that. Yeah, sometimes it, it hits. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, honestly, every new episode of The Simpsons I watch, I'm like, it's not as bad bad as no, I thought it was going to be. It's yeah. weird because you it, it see like better a comparison. You see a comparison yeah. to the old one and then like you see it now and it is a little more like it's a little more by the books like produced. So yeah. you see like the straight two frame but it's still That's like they try to say. move they try to I, move more. I think the biggest the hit I'll, I'll say this about The Simpsons if you actually look at how often the characters move around they're not like stiff. Yeah. They yeah. move around. Yeah. Much better I think the thing that took the hit was the um, the colors are a lot more bland. Yeah. yeah. The lines. The lines are less like prominent. They're very like simple like yeah 
they're have too weird, thin. They have weird they're twisted thin, yeah. angles and like weird like purple grades and stuff. All the lines are the same thickness, and the characters look like they're made of cement. There's no squash and stretch. No. Like they are, they look rock solid. Where no. like Homer, man, there's a shot in the Simpsons movie um, of like Marge like screaming or something. Like she spins around and her hair does this flip, and it's from the movie. It's not from like that long ago, and it looks so out of place because they actually stretched Marge out. You know, mm -hmm. they played yeah. their like. I, have you seen that uh, comparison? It was like a uh, the old Simpsons intro versus the new Simpsons. Yeah. 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 And yeah. Marge's hair. She like did some weird like, like twirl all thing. this like yeah, yeah. fluidity, and her then the new one is just like, the head turns. Her, head just her head turns rotates like, like an action figure. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I, I think they copied her head and flipped it. Yeah. She's looking left or right. That's what it looks like. And yeah, I had, like one just frame. drew one in between. Like, one frame, in yeah. between. Yeah. yeah. I read actually a blog from the animator that did that, and they said that the um the fist shake that Maggie does to the unibrow baby at the end. Yeah. He didn't even animate that. Some somebody else got a hold of it and was told add the fist shake in so it's two frames. There's no in between. Was that the same blog where the guy talked? About how he animated the crows and they told to like take out free. Yeah, it might be. Yeah, might I be also heard that another thing no. is like they actually can't overly animate everything because like they're like, no, like, yeah, uh, I read a blog about it's a guy who was like talking about animating crows and the, the Simpsons intro, and the guy said that looks too good, take frames out. Yeah, exactly. And they did, and he said, okay, and he took some out. I think you get the... better stuff if you just give it to animators and basically say, this is your shot, keep it relatively on model, yeah. make sure you begin and end the right poses for the next shot so they all line keep up. Basic and timing. just give us good yeah. stuff. Did you no. ever see the Simpsons? Simpsons and Family Guy crossover episode? Oh, uh, no, dude. It looked like... No, dude. Actually, it was really good. It, it starts, off, it starts off horrible. It was so the fucking end, funny. Near the end of it, they give up, and, it, and they they're just, just like, fuck you both audiences. Yeah, they were just, like just the funniest shit they, ever. They, just like, it starts off, to you say, think it's gonna be awful. They made it work. On, on the animation front, they have like a, a chicken fight, which is not funny at all, but it looks really nice. They use like, they use smear frames on yeah, videos, yeah, yeah, which is weird I thought that was the funniest part. I hate the chicken. The chicken fights are horrible. You think it's gonna be terrible because the first start of it, I'm not gonna give the so not gonna see praise, but the fight scene looks visually really good. Yeah, yeah, I I might have watched that actually. I think it but gets yeah. good after like where he's in the bar and he's like, I'm drinking uh what's the beer that Duff? Like, Duff? No, what's the beer that um oh. Paul took a brewery? Yeah. Yeah, Paul took a brewery, he's like, I'm drinking Duff, and he's like, This is our beer, and he like peels off the fucking <laughs> label and it says Duff underneath it. <laughs> so it's like you clearly they're ripping off like Simpsons. It was all about how Family Guy rips off Simpsons yeah. and how like they're clearly inspired from it. And so they were just doing riffs the whole time and then they started fighting and really doing riffs. It was, it was like, it was, it was a part where he's like, you and your worthless daughter and your fucking, your Masturbating like, your fat, son. Yeah, your best mate's son. And then and like, Homer's like, that's your kids. And he's like, <laughs> oh yeah. And he punches him in the face. And it's like funny because they're like being insulting the whole time. He's they're insinuating basically insulting that Bart masturbates. <laughs> yeah. We actually all sat down and watched it together being like, oh, this is gonna suck. I we all were laughing. Laugh. So like, like this fight scene is funny as shit, actually. Speaking of like odd out of place animation, there was a, the Scooby-Doo reboot. I don't know if anybody saw it was called Mr. Incorporated. It was okay. When yeah. was it? A lot of people liked it. I, I, it was, was alright. But there was one episode where Scooby gets like sick or something. And the whole episode's done in like the 60s style. Yeah. It doesn't look perfect, but it, it, it was a really interesting, weird thing I didn't have to do. Yeah. Like it, was, it was something obviously the animators and the people who were working on it. Oh, is that what Shaggy do. like has like a dream? Or like. Yeah, Scooby has like a dream. dream. Oh, yeah, 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 but it's done in like the 60s style. They have like. Um, what's the caveman? Uh, uh, Captain Caveman? Captain Caveman. They have like Captain Caveman there and the fucking shark. How did you forget his name? Oh, Jabberjaw? <laughs> yeah, Jabberjaw, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jabberjaw! I will say the new Scooby Doo movie. Movies. I watched like a whole crap ton of the Scooby Doo movies over the last year. I don't know why. Oh my god! Dude. And they go from being really good very zombie quickly. Island. Yeah, Zombie Island is like Zombie Island. Was that is, they had like four that movies so in the 90s. You forgot like real. It's like no monsters and yeah. demons are real. You're gonna die, Scooby. The, fir the first time I watched Zombie Island, like is they, the they were like eating like these like fucking like they were eating like these like spicy like crawdads or something. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's just gonna be a guy in a costume. And he pulls off his fucking arm. Yeah. And the zombie yeah. Like, tries to bite him. And I'm like, whoa, dude! I didn't know it'd be actually. Like uh, zombie, they did zombie, they did witches, curse or something like that. Yeah, I, like, I have yeah, witches. Witch there was like the alien one too. I was like, and the cyber did, chase, like, alien invaders. Yeah, it's cyber chase. There was like a weird forest street yeah. where they get like really dark. They nosedive in the early two thousands, but back yeah. after like two thousand thirteen, they get really, 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 really good. <laughs> they get pretty damn good. Watch Frank and Creepy. Frank and Creepy <laughs> is cool. <laughs> yeah, the colors are amazing, and there's some actual funny jokes in it. Really, dude. Yeah. In Zombie Island, what didn't like the these like fucking villagers like push the witches into the water with 
the fucking crocodiles were. Yeah. You, you, they were holding their kids. It was, like, it was, it was, it was, it was physically literally dark to look at. It was yeah. dark. It, it was, was like also like right it it like, like, oh, yeah, dude. You see a bunch of tourists coming out. It's like, that's kind of fucked up. Yeah, they didn't have a happy ending. Yeah, these like tourist zombies. Like, Jesus, dude. What the hell? And the zombies are trying to warn. It's a nice nice spin on the classic Yeah, it is. It is good, yeah. Did you guys see any of Be Cool Scooby Doo, the new show that looks like Seth MacFarlane? Oh, God. Yeah. Why does Fred have like a cleft chin that like sticks out too long? Quagmire Fred. They had a guy. Uh, what is that? Be cool, Scooby Doo. Yeah, yeah, it's like a, a kind of wacky, irreverent new Scooby Doo series with really kind of dorky looking animation. Yeah, I think it's impressive. Can I just say it's impressive that Frank Welker can still do fucking Fred's voice like perfectly after like fifty years? It's nuts. He sounds like a twenty year old kid. You look at him, he's like, he looks like the Crypt Keeper. He's like decomposing. He's like, hey gang, it's like, holy fuck, dude. How do you do that? I need to look at Be Cool, Scooby Doo. There was an animator um, who worked on it, uh, a Pico Day, he was a storyboard editor, and to be honest, really nice guy, kind of made me not want to like lay into the show anymore, but, you know, <laughs> no, but, like <laughs> but, like, uh, but sometimes storyboards it. are great, like, Powerpuff Girls storyboards are beautiful, apparently, yeah. for the new one. Yeah. Chris, Why are saying? the lines so thin in that show? Like, did they not watch the old Oh, they're show? incompetent as fuck. Oh, thin line work works if it's trying to emulate, like, a pencil. Every shot yeah. is, like, super but it doesn't look, it doesn't look good. The, the thin line work looks terrible if you use a fucking pencil tool. It's so dynamic in the old show. It's yeah. It's thick and the thin thing, and stuff. It looks beautiful. Yeah. I'll show you also the, the Powerpuff Girls movie that came out like 2003. Yeah. The art and animation and colors of that show are fucking gorgeous. Yeah, it looks really good. It's all like 3D too. Like it's like 3D with 2D animation. It's like really over nice it. to it look at. Really, I look back like, and looked at it again. You know how on storyboards like you can clearly lay out like the darks, the mids, and the highlights mm. just to make a good shot? Mm. The new series just ignores that yeah. and just draws like loads of colors everywhere. And they got rid of the teacher's boobs. Yeah. They got rid of the teacher's boobs. Yeah, they got rid of uh, the, the... I mean, no, no, they got rid of the... The she pulls up her top, there's a big scar going across. <laughs> <laughs> Like and <laughs> <laughs> be cool, Scooby Doo. They use the exact same colors for the character, no matter like what time of day it is. Well, yeah, that's that's the, but night. I do that. I, I, I need like, to stop doing that shit. I'm like, oh, it's nighttime and they're underwater, <laughs> <laughs> and like under a big shadow. I never noticed you do that. I'm sorry. No, it's all right. <laughs> well, if you try putting like a filter like color over it, it'll look really goofy. Yeah. Well, it, no, I, kinda... I, I think filter is kind of you can tell it's a filter. No, the problem is like when you put the filter over it, it like slows your cartoon. At least that's part. Mommy's head. I would put a filter over it and slow my cartoon down. And right, I wouldn't not be able if you were like filter. rendering video. Corey, it's 2004. Okay. I use CS3 use video <laughs> now. I use CS3. Yeah. So it still like uses its like hardware, like prehistoric. You swivel, dude. When I tried to export the music video, um, swivel wasn't around, so I had to do something else to export this the movie. Something dangerous. Something, something like illegal. exporting a movie and in dot mov or whatever. Now it's easy, probably. But before swivel, you had to put everything into one single flash file. Yep. So you had to. I. I had the, yeah. The it music would slow video. Slow everything down. The music video flash file. I had it was 350 megabytes and that is fucking huge and opening it up would crash it in some cases so I had to open it like six times it was exactly like working with Chode except Chode was 450 and I had yes. one gigabyte of memory on my computer so it always <laughs> crashed and I, I tried doing screen peek or whatever team speak it was using someone <laughs> else's computer to export it and it was still fucking crashed. I'm sorry Corey how Please. do you guys wrap wrap this up we just say oh, something this has know. been sleepy cast you sing it's a terror time again let's do a song let's do a song Hex cast, we gonna put a Let's spell do a song. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we'll just play ants again. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for joining us on Sleepy Cast tonight. We've got Harry Potter. Thank you so much. Yay! We're all gonna go die. <laughs>